In this video, we will be looking at the amendments that have been made to the exam guidelines. This was made at the end of 2020, and up until then, we had still been using the 2017 gu exam guidelines. Now, if you for some reason still have the 2017 exam guidelines, just check out this video and you'll be up to date. You can still use it because the content is exactly the same of what you have to study for these topics that are still in. So don't worry about that. Now, the biggest changes that have been made is the fact that human impact has been removed completely. It's covered in grade 11, so there's no need uh, for it to be covered in grade 12 again. Then meiosis used to be in paper one and paper two. It is now only in paper two. And then the thing that I think most of you will be most, well happiest about, because my learners definitely are, is that there is no essay questions. They've been removed from paper one and paper two. So no more section C, just section A and section B. So what are these changes? Uh, mark wise, let's quickly check it out. So DNA stays the same with 27 marks. Meiosis that was split between paper one and paper two is now 21 marks in paper two. Reproduction in vertebrates has gone up with two marks. It is now eight marks. Human reproduction has gone up with 10. It is now 41 marks. Genetics and inheritance has gone up with three marks. It's 45. Uh, it used to be 45. It's now 48. And then responding to the environment in humans, that's the brain, the ear, the eye, uh, the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system, all of that um, is now 54 marks. And then endocrine system and homeostasis is 34 marks. They also used to be split in the previous exam guidelines. Content is still the same that you need to know under them both, just that they are now placed together. And that is for 34, uh, 34 marks. Responding to the environment in plants, uh, that is 13 marks. So that's gone up with two marks. And then evolution has actually come down. It is now 54 marks. It used to be 66. So what do the papers look like? You can check this out in the exam guidelines as well. Remember, I'll put the link in the description tab at the bottom at the end so that you can go check out the new exam guidelines if you don't have them. Reproduction and vertebrates is still in paper one. Human reproduction is still in there, responding to the environment in humans and in plants. And then the endocrine system and homeostasis is also still in there. It's just meiosis that has been removed here. Very nice here. You can check out the weighting percentage wise and then mark wise. But we've covered the marks. But you can see exactly what the percentage weighting is of each of these topics. For paper two, meiosis is in paper two. So nothing much has changed here. DNA, meiosis, genetics and inheritance and evolution basically just the mark allocation that has changed there. If you do want to get hold of me or send me an email for some reason, if you really have a dire question, you can reach me at class at gmail.com and I'll try and get to your email as speedily as possible. Other than that, stay safe and study hard.